Hi guys, Jeremy here, and today I'm going to show you how to automatically collect customer reviews using Go High Level. I'll explain how Go High Level's features make it easy to set up an automated review request system. That way, you'll save time, keep track of who's leaving feedback, and proudly share your best testimonials with potential customers. But before we get started, let me give you a special offer. You see, normally, if you go through Go High Level's website, you're gonna get a 14-day free trial. However, with my link, you will receive a 30-day free trial. And on top of that, as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High Level Jumpstart, which walks you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Go High Level offers many features and it's easy to get lost. So in my course, I highlight the most important aspects to focus on helping you make money using Go High Level in those initial 30 days. Additionally, you're going to receive my top-notch high-quality templates for free, including the Business Hub template for managing your business and the Finance Hub for tracking your finances, among others. Now, those are worth over $900, but you're going to get all of that for free as a thank you for using my affiliate link in the description below. Simply click the first link to find all the details about these offers and how to claim them. It's my way of saying Thank you for supporting the channel. Now let's dive in. All right, so before getting started with automated review requests, make sure that you have a sub account ready to go. In Go High Level, you create a separate sub account for each client or brand that you manage. So their info stays organized. Now, if you handle multiple businesses like a dentist, a real estate agent, or a restaurant, you'd set up one sub account for each one of them. Now, after you open a sub account, head over to the Reputation tab. That's where you can do things like send review requests one by one, check reviews that have already come in, and even create widgets to show off positive testimonials on your website. Now, you can also change your default review link and the wording of the messages that you send so people who get your requests recognize your brand style. If you want to keep things really simple at first, you can send requests manually. Just click the Send Review Request button at the the top right side, and as soon as you click, a pop-up window will appear. Enter the contact name, contact phone, and contact email. Next, choose whether you want to send the request via email, text, or even WhatsApp, and then click the Send Review Request button. But if you're dealing with a lot of customers, or if you just want a set it and forget it system, automations are the way to go. Now, that's what I'm going to show you today. In the left-hand menu, look for automations or workflows. Create a new workflow from scratch, and Go High Level will ask you to add a trigger. Now, a trigger is the event that tells the system, okay, it's time to send a review request. For example, you might want to send a request as soon as you move someone from prospect to client in your sales pipeline, or maybe after you mark them as a finished project. It's all up to you. So let's say that you have a pipeline where you keep track of each stage of your sales process. Maybe you have one stage for when you first meet a prospect, another stage when they've agreed to work with you, and a final stage labeled closed or finished. Now, you can tell your workflow that whenever a contact gets moved to the closed stage, Go High Level should automatically send them a review request. That way, the request goes out just after you've completed your work and they're likely to have positive things to say. Once you've chosen your trigger, you'll add an action step to send the review request. Go High Level will use whatever message you've set up in the reputation settings by default, or you can adjust it to match your business voice. You can choose to send the email request by text, email, or both. It's often a good idea to test which channel gets you more replies. A lot of people respond to text messages faster, but email might be better if you need more space for a longer message or if you want to include links. Feel free to add more steps into your workflow if you want to wait a certain number of days before sending the request or if you'd like to send a second reminder if you don't hear back. Just be careful not to overwhelm people with too many messages. Sometimes a gentle reminder can help, but too many texts or emails can annoy your customers. After you've saved and turned on your workflow, the automation will run whenever the trigger you set up happens. That means when you drag someone to 
the closed stage in your pipeline or whatever stage you choose, Go High Level automatically sends them a review request. That's the real magic here. Once you set it up, the rest is automatic. So let's imagine that you're a marketing agency who sets up websites for local businesses. You could have a pipeline that tracks new leads, ongoing projects, and completed jobs. The moment that you move a client into the completed column, an email or a text message goes out saying something like, hey there, thanks for letting us build your new website. We'd love your honest feedback. Here's a quick link to leave a review. Because you're catching people at the perfect time, right after you've done something valuable for them, they're often happy to share a positive review. Go High Level's review tools also give you the option to respond to reviews right inside the platform without having to hop around different sites. Some people like using the built-in AI suggestions, while others prefer to write their own personal notes. You can also make a widget to display your best testimonials on your website. Nothing boosts a new lead's confidence quite like seeing that others had a great experience. In your Reputations tab, go to the Settings and then click on the Review Link option. This is where you can set the link that you want people to click on in order to leave the review. That could be your Google Business Profile, your Facebook page, or somewhere else. Try to keep things simple. A direct link that takes them right to the review form usually gets more people to follow through. If you're feeling fancy, you can add more triggers in your workflow. Maybe you only send the request if a customer replies with a certain keyword or only after they pay their invoice. But if you are new to this, I recommend starting small. Pick one pipeline stage or one condition that definitely means you finished the project and the customer is hopefully satisfied. Also, think about how your request reads. A casual, friendly tone usually works best. Something like, hey, it's Jeremy from Digital Designs. I really appreciate your business. Mind leaving a quick review? Here's a link and thanks so much. Now that feels more genuine than a stiff formal message. Once everything's set up, your pipeline, your workflow, your customized message, and your review link, you're good to go. As you see new reviews roll in, you can respond to them and even feature them on your site. You'll probably notice a big jump in how many people leave feedback just because you're asking them at exactly the right moment. Instead of manually remembering to request a review each time, Go High Level handles it for you, freeing you up to handle other parts of your business. Of course, not every review will be five stars and not everyone will take the time to leave a feedback, but by automating the ask, you'll catch a lot more satisfied customers while their good experiences are fresh in their mind. This helps you keep a consistent flow of new testimonials, which you can then use in marketing or simply post on your site to show that people love what you have to offer. If you need to collect reviews on more than one site, you can either create multiple automations that send different links or direct customers to a small landing page that lets them choose where they want to leave their review. Some businesses like like to spread out reviews across different platforms for better online visibility, while others focus on just one platform, especially if most of their leads come from a specific place like Google. For an even smoother experience, you can fit this request into your broader relationship with a customer. Maybe during your onboarding or offboarding process, you send a few helpful tips or resources first, then follow up with a review request once you're sure that they've seen the value of your service. When done right, automating your review request in Go High Level can be a total game changer. You'll spend less time emailing or texting clients one by one and more time doing the work that makes them happy in the first place. Meanwhile, you'll steadily build a collection of genuine testimonials. This boosts your reputation and it can win over new customers who trust reviews more than sales copies alone. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope this quick overview has shown you how to automatically collect reviews with Go High Level. Just remember the main steps. Open the right sub account, head to the reputation tab to set things up and build a workflow that sends a review request at just the right time. After that, you'll watch the reviews come in without any extra work on your part. Now, before you go, let me remind you about the special offer that I mentioned earlier. If you use my link in the description below, you're gonna get a 30-day free trial of Go High Level instead of the usual 14 days. Plus, as a thank you for using my link, you'll receive my Go High Level Jumpstart course designed to help you master the platform and start making money within those first 30 days. On top of that, you are also gonna receive access to my exclusive high-quality Notion templates that are worth over $900, but you're gonna get all of that for free just click the link in the description to claim the offers and 
get started today. Thanks for supporting the channel and I will see you in the next video.